Hello, my name is Chris Chris Carter, and today we're going to be doing another Minute in the Word. Before we start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord in Heaven, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have your Word and your Son. And Lord, please, I pray, help us to learn from your Word today. Lord, I pray that you please teach us and help us to use what, what you've taught us to serve you better. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we are going to be looking at... Psalm 119, 142, and 143. First, let's look at Psalm 142. The, Psalm 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is truth. God's righteousness is everlasting, eternal, and never-ending. And God's law is truth. God's law, God's law is truth because it comes from his righteousness. And if God's righteousness is everlasting, eternal, never-ending, then what will his law be? Everlasting, eternal, and never-ending. We see this in multiple places in the Bible. Do we believe that God's law is truth? Do we do we believe that it's the whole truth, or do we just pick and choose what suits our, our beliefs and our ideas? Do we believe that his righteousness is everlasting? Do we believe that it's right, that it's true? How, how are we living this truth? How are we living the truth of, of God's word? How do we apply this in our daily lives? Or are we even applying it in our daily lives? Another verse is Psalm 119, 142, which says, Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. Trouble and anguish have, have confined me. I'm trapped by my enemy or my, or my affliction. What do I do? I'm trapped by but by all this. Yet, or but, God's commandments, God's law, they are my delight during this time. So so not only are, are, are we just supposed to turn to them just so we can know what God wants us to do and follow him, but God also wants us to turn to his law when we're in trouble or we're in anguish or, or we're trapped. Because God wants us to turn to him. Do I turn to God's everlasting law? Do I turn to his word during trouble and anguish? Am I delighting in God's law when there is, when there is no trouble? Because if I don't spend time, if I don't turn to his word when there is no trouble, why why would I turn to it when there is trouble? Why would that be the first place that I turn? How do I use God's everlasting law during my trouble and anguish? What are we supposed to do? Well, we are supposed to spend time in his word. We're supposed to seek him humbly and prayerfully through through his word and in prayer. I pray that that this that this is an encouragement to you all and that you seek God during hard times, during tr- troubles and tribulations. If you have any questions or suggestions, please l- l- let me know in the comments below or message me on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching and God bless.